I have this incredible flat water bottle and it literally looks like I have a hip flask and a drinking problem. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jenna and today I'll be talking to you about a brand new hot off the press bag. So this is the Speedy 20 bandolier in the monogram on front leather from Louis Vuitton. This is brand new. It arrived in the mail yesterday and it is a pre-launch item from their new collection. So I'm very excited to share with you my first impressions. This is definitely a bit of an impulse purchase. So I guess, yeah, the first impressions will be very raw. So I did get a chance to wear her out tonight for dinner with a friend so I can show you what fits inside, the capacity, and if you're interested in getting a hold of this bag, I'll leave some timestamps below, so feel free to fast forward to whichever part you're interested in. I hope you find this video helpful, and let's get started. So let's start off with the appearance of the bag. As you can see, she is a beautiful grained calf leather. So this is in their monogram emprunt print, which I believe literally translates to footprint, but it basically is like an embossed a cowhide leather. It's very muted and from far away obviously it is still the monogram logo but I think it's a lot more subdued and subtle. Exactly what I was going for. I've basically been trying to look for a more muted black bag which I don't currently have in my collection and I also wanted versatility right so here you can see there's the leather top handles and then it also comes with a detachable chain strap. So the chain strap has this beautiful gold linkage down the sides and then also an adjustable leather toggle. Now this kind of leather band is great. It's so comfortable to wear on the shoulder and it also means that it's a little more bearable when it comes to kind of filling up the bag. So this is all in very yellow gold hardware. I find that I've been gravitating a lot towards gold in my jewelry anyway, so I've been looking for a black on gold combination. Yeah, this is basically exactly what I was looking for. On the sides of the bag here, you'll see there's that leather tag and then also Louis Vuitton embossed on the bottom. And then on this side, you don't have the logo, but then you also have the leather tag. The bottom doesn't have any feet, but I find that it stands quite structured actually, so it seems to hold its shape quite well, and it has that kind of uh, leather trim as well all around the edges. Up top we have the two handles. They aren't detachable, but they you can lie them down quite flat as well, so when you're wearing the bag crossbody, this doesn't stand up, you can just wear it down. You have two zippers. I prefer to have them on the side, you can obviously wear it with the zippers like this in the middle and then once you open it up You'll see that it's basically a big black hole in there And then there's also a little back pocket here that actually came with the authenticity card inside So inside yeah, it feels like a suede inner lining actually. I don't know if you can see I think it's actually like a microfiber, so an artificial lining on the inside. But I think that's fine. You know, I wouldn't want to scratch it up or anything, so I don't really mind on the inside. And I think it definitely has that like dark, subtle interior. Overall, the bag is a very classic shape, right? The Speedy is is so well known, but I've never been able to pull the trigger and buy a Speedy. I love the classic shape. I just always felt like the sizes were too big for me. Like the 25 obviously used to be the smallest size and then we also had the tiny Speedy BB I think. Again that's a bit too small and the straps aren't adjustable and then beyond that you have obviously the bigger ones that are actually luggage basically. <laughs> when this came out I jumped at the size of it. It looks so gorgeous. It really surprised me because I didn't think I would fall for this line at all. So I'm really happy with the overall appearance. A feature of the bag that I forgot to mention just now is the very iconic Louis Vuitton padlock. It comes in a little pouch like so. It's not focusing very well, but you have the LV on the front and then you'll have the uh, written logo on the back. This is hefty. This is very heavy. I've seen girls kind of unclip this and use this as a necklace and I just think this would give me more neck problems than I already have. It comes with a little pair of keys. They just open up like that. So from what I'd seen on the website in terms of when I first saw this bag, the lock was supposed to clip on these two, zip, like through these two zippers here, but as you can see, it doesn't really fit through and I don't really want to shove oh god it's stuck fuck it's stuck I've, I've undone it thank god I don't really want to shove them through because I don't want to tarnish the hardware I think it's supposed to evoke the original kind of luggage heritage of Louis Vuitton the speedy was 
again a classic luggage bag and it's bigger size and then you would lock the top but to be honest I couldn't really care less. Cute if you clip it on the sides like this as a little accessory but to be honest I just feel like it's so heavy. I don't really want to be adding on to what is a relatively lightweight bag which I'm going to fill up with a lot of stuff so I'm just going to keep this quite literally locked away in the little bag and yeah we'll see what we'll do with it. Maybe I'll bust it out if I'm wearing the bag in a more formal sense you know just for a little extra bling I guess but I really wanted to use this as a, an everyday bag I just don't need that extra weight. That lock is frankly quite useless in my opinion. Now about the purchase process so I saw the pre-launch announced on the website and I also received an email comms from Louis Vuitton because I'm subscribed and so they mentioned that there was this obviously new collection and then the pre-launch items including the Speedy 20. Obviously their marketing is working because I clicked in and I saw the bag. Now at the time it was available and it was retailing for £1,590. I've just gone online to see again and it's now £1,650. So £1,600 and 50 pounds which means it's gone up by 60 pounds already within the span of a couple of days and it's also now unavailable like they did with the multi pusha accessoire you know i'm assuming that it's done relatively successfully for them to bring up the price so quickly so i ordered this actually i think on the second or third day that the collection had been announced so this was last monday it is now wednesday and i received it the monday after so it literally took like a week from payment to it arriving at my door. I could have waited to go into store I guess but like I said it was a website pre-launch so I thought just kind of just to bite the bullet and do it and I'm glad because now it seems like there's probably no more stock. I think the thing with Louis is just to set your notifications like click the email notify button and when things come into stock you know they'll let you know and also obviously reach out to your essay as well if you have one in store and yeah that's about the buying process. Next I want to talk about different ways to wear this bag. As I mentioned, the chain strap is actually detachable, so you can just wear it on the crook of your arm like this or handheld with the top handles like this, with or without the chain, but I think it looks quite nice with the chain dangling down. The thing with the top handles is that obviously it's not quite wide enough for you to wear it comfortably on your shoulder, but yeah, my arms are a bit of a tight squeeze through that, so I think kind of crook of the arm or handheld. The next way to wear the bag is just across the shoulder like this using this chain strap. As you can see, there are five adjustment holes. I mean, I'm sure you can get these professionally punched as well, but I have it on the shortest setting because I'm only five foot two, so I definitely am on the smaller side and I don't want the bag sitting too low. So this is it on the shoulder. It'll come out, come out on your hips like that. The next way to wear the bag is to simply swing it across your body like so. Again, it's on the shortest setting and you can put the adjustable side to the back of your body so that you don't see it from the front. At this setting, as you can see, it hits me right on the hip, slightly above. And I think this is a really good length for me. Any lower, I wouldn't enjoy. The top handles fall down nicely. They don't stand up like this awkwardly. Uh, you can just put them against the bag and against your body and it's not uncomfortable at all. Another thing I noticed was how far the bag kind of sticks out. I was worried that it would be too bulky, but actually the width of the bag makes it very manageable. I'll put all the dimensions here. As it's the Speedy 20, the length is basically 20 centimeters, so it doesn't look too kind of overwhelmingly huge against my body and my waist as well when I wear it slightly more forward. So I really think this is a good size for those of you who are on the smaller side. I think it's a very neutral classic bag and I think the versatility in the ways that you can wear it is great. Another thing is, of course, you can switch out the detachable strap and clip on anything else that you might like. Now I want to talk about the capacity of the Speedy 20. As it's a smaller size, I was originally a bit concerned about what I could fit inside. However, I did notice that against comparisons with the rest of the Speedy line, the zips tend to go down a lot lower on the bag, so it seems that you can actually fit more things through the, the cavity of the bag, if that makes sense. So let me open her up. I'll show you what I mean. If I keep her like this and I try and fit the pochette in, I kind of have to shove on the sides. However, if I bring 
the zips down very easily it just pops right in so I think just in terms of the length it really kind of opens up the bag if you've seen my full review on the multi pochette accessoire you'll know that I use the smaller pochette as a Mary Poppins bag of all my toiletries so if I open her up and just give you a quick idea I've got a little perfume bottle <laughs> hay fever tablets because your girl is allergic to everything. Some eye drops, some lipstick from MAC, which I'm wearing right now, band-aids for blisters. I'm a very fragile woman, okay? But anyways, all of this fits in here and that slots straight in. If I open her up, she kind of just sits there and there's still loads of space. Next, I'm just putting in everything else that I took out tonight. So phone, which is an iPhone 10s, little AirPods, my relatively new card holder, that goes straight in my keys. Also, I have this incredible flat water bottle that I bought a while back from Boots. I think it's meant to be for a mouthwash and it literally looks like I have a hip flask and a drinking problem. That all fits in there. There's definitely room up top for some smaller items like back in the back pocket I've slipped a face mask. You know, that closes very easily just like that. And as you can see from the side, no bulges and the bottom doesn't sag at all. I can tell from the comments on my Saint Laurent small Lulu bag video that you also love it when I am practical when it comes to capacity. So I've brought back the trusted and beloved doggy Brawly. She is about the same length as the bag and you can get her in there. There we go. Okay, so she's, she's in. But again, it kind of depends on the zips and like you really have to kind of pull the sides. She's there on the bottom. I can then, I think with the water bottle, it might just be a bit too bulky then. But again, I can do my phone, wallet, keys, AirPods, and then you can see there's loads of space at the top. So I would probably take out some of my toiletries, etc., and just slip them at the bottom or at the top. But you know, there's definitely space for more. It's just that it's a bit bulky. I also have some hand sanity we can put in there, some sunglasses. If we lie them up top flat like this, she'll close up with a little more effort, but yeah, she'll also do that. This brings me to the end of the video. First impressions, I adore the bag. I feel like you just can't go wrong with this color combo. And I love the different ways that you can wear her. I think it's gonna be very hard wearing because of the grain leather and hopefully scratch proof. I definitely don't baby my bag, so I'll probably do a wear and tear video in a couple of months time. I'm planning on wearing her out and about all the time and also some more formal occasions as well. As a PSA as well, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching my other videos and leaving all your comments. I'll do my best to go through and answer all your questions. I know I've been kind of radio silent in terms of creating content over the past couple of months. I've just been settling into my new apartment in London and I'm still figuring out the lighting and the setup as you can tell from the awful lighting in this video. I just want to say thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!